Welcome back to the Freelancers Tea Break, the short and sweet podcast that you can enjoy whilst you're making a cover. I'm Emma Cossey, a coach for freelancers, and I'm here to chat to you about tips, tricks, and advice for freelancers. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Freelancers Tea Break. Um, welcome if you're new to this. Um, I have just started doing them on YouTube, um, but I have been running the Freelancers Tea Break podcast on iTunes and Spotify and all the other places online for many years now. Um, the whole point of this is to make it something really useful that you can listen to whilst you're enjoying a cup of tea um, as a freelancer. And this week, unsurprisingly, I'm going to be talking about Black Friday. Now, I know a lot of people feel a lot of pressure during this week to put on special offers and compete. And there's so much noise. I don't know about you, but um, I'm recording this on Monday and my inbox is already absolutely full of Black Friday offers. Um, and there's also a lot of temptation to be spending money and buying things. Um, so I wanted to share sort of three tips for Black Friday. This is more going to be about um, buying rather than if you're gonna be offering anything. But I do wanna say for Black Friday, please don't feel pressure to put on a special offer. There is actually an argument that it's better not to do it because um, there's so much noise out there at the moment that you're gonna be competing with a lot of other people. But then also there's an expectation um, and there can be some real benefits for doing a Friday offer. Only do it if it works for you. But I wanna talk about what are you gonna do if you've got all these emails coming in and if you're like me, you're a bit of an impulse spender, um, what do you need to think about before you spend anything as a freelancer um, during Black Friday? So my first one is to, first of all, go have a look at your subscriptions. Are there any subscriptions that you're currently paying for monthly? And there is an app, a Black Friday offer from that supplier offering an annual or a lifetime offer that is hugely worthwhile doing now i would say it needs to be something that isn't something that they is just slightly better than they offer all year round um and i would also suggest having a look at which ones you've been using for a long time so um so free agent i've been using free agent for absolute years i know i would be safe to buy their annual or their lifetime membership one whereas a tool that i might have just started using or has just been launched i would probably wait until next year um i might feel slightly gutted that I haven't got it but um, you've also got to remember that a lot of these people will be using techniques saying you'll never see an offer like this again you probably will see an offer like that again um, so have a look at your subscriptions and see if a you can financially afford to um, get the annual or the lifetime membership and it would save you money um, and b whether you actually need to this is also a good chance, by the way, to go through your memberships and make sure uh, and your, subscri uh, your subscriptions, um, whether they're ones that you still want to be doing or if you're on the right plan um, and vice versa. So that's our one. The second thing I want you to think about is the return on investment. So if you're going to invest in something or buy something, what return on investment is it going to bring for your business? So. I'm going to go back to the example of free agent just because I've already said it. Um, I know that that gives me huge peace of mind. Um, it makes my life a lot less stressful. It makes my accountant and my bookkeeper's life a lot easier because I have all of it on there. It's much, much easier. So um, for me, that gives me a lot of return on investment. There are other products that I might think are fun, like um, I've been... Um, someone that has bought bundles in the past, and then I just never use any of the bundles and never make the money back. So are you gonna get some kind of return on investment, whether that is the time that you get back, the money you get back, um, or lower stress levels, things like that. I want you to have a think about what return on investment you will get with those Black Friday deals. And the third thing is go use your cashback websites if you use them. So Quidco, Quidco um, Top Cashback, Go into those, and I actually have them on my like my Chrome toolbar to make sure it make, it's really easy, it pops up. But don't forget to use them, especially if you're buying something bigger. Um, it won't apply to all of them, 
but it is well worth looking and also have a look in your inbox and see if anyone has sent you any kind of affiliate offer so for example some of the affiliate programs i'm part of um you will get a discount if you go through them or you get some kind of add-on if you go through them so have a look through those sorts of things but make sure you're getting the best possible deal by using the top cashback if you haven't used cash cashback by the way before all it does is you click through their link and then you get a small amount back and it doesn't have to be a big part it can be like three four percent one percent i just um bought some lego um and i used the cash money for that and i sort of made sort of like 10 quid back but i'd already got a discount for something else so it was just a little bit of a bonus same goes for things like if you're traveling and things like that if you use your cash back um you can use that you can download the quick code top cash back um, apps on your phone as well and click through them you can even do it for like delivery things like that so yeah that's the third one i want you to think about cash back and how you can make sure that you're making the most of that wherever possible so those are my three ones i'm going to summarize them um number one check your subscriptions and your memberships and see if there's any good deals there that make sense and that you can at the moment financially afford to do monthly and um, do annually or even a lifetime one um number two check the return on investment is it going to be worth it and number three check your cash back um is there a cash back link that you can use i hope that's helpful um Please don't worry too much about the Black Friday sales. It just feels so pressured. And actually, some of them, like Amazon, I go, I'll go on there. And actually, they're not even that great, but you just feel like they should be because um, they're talking about how amazing these Black Friday deals are. And there's no, they're no better than the ones that they do the rest of the year. So it might be worth also having a look back through your emails and seeing the last time they did special offers and compare it um, and see if the Black Friday offers really are that amazing. Good luck and um, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Freelancers Tea Break. I hope you found it useful. If you want to connect with other freelancers, do come join us in the Facebook group the Freelance Lifestylers. It's completely free and really lovely and supportive. You can also find out more information on freelancing at freelancelifestyle.co.uk. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you were able to take a moment to leave a review on the podcast platform of your choice.